hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flame so we're gonna talk about kim kardashian kanye west and some information that i'm getting from an article by hollywood unlocked now it is said that this is um an article that has been released by hollywood unlocked three days ago based on an interview that jason lee did with kanye west so it is being alleged that Kim Kardashian is not allowing Kanye West to see the kids again. And we believe that it is stemming from Kanye's post about um, Pete Davidson. But listen, before I get into this article, like I am so pissed. I am so mad at this scony, sick looking corpse bride woman. Because that's what she is. She's definitely a corpse bride. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you like Kanye West or not. Kim has no right to be barring Kanye West from seeing his kids. Kim, baby, listen. Kanye West is not the reason why Pete dumped you. Maybe Pete told you to go home to your husband because your husband is the only one who will put up with your dumb ass but other than that kanye is not the reason for pete dumping you allegedly okay so you need to get some help and stop picking on this man now based on the article kanye spoke about the um knockout by that so-called paparazzi that has been trailing him so Kanye West spoke about that gentleman trailing him up to three different locations and Kanye West was saying that you know what that blue mask that blue COVID mask surely wasn't going to prevent that knockout so he's saying that the man has been stalking him to, he told the gentleman to leave him alone but he kept on coming at him and as such that's how the knockout happened so I'm going to skip through that part just to get through the very crucial and important part now Kanye West says that Saturday Night Live debut where she kissed her new boyfriend Pete Davidson on the skit you're gonna bring me to SNL and then kiss the dude you're dating right in front of me everybody's like that's cool and I'm hearing that new boyfriend is actually in the house that I can't even go to now guys these are the things that have been making Kanye West upset and evidently he's not he hasn't gotten over it because this isn't the first time that we are hearing these things now to further continue Kanye says I can have my principles and things have changed things and I backslide and I haven't been the best Christian and things the media can make seem some kind of ways but at the end of the day, I'm Jesus gang. I am a, I'm about family, just me and my kids parenting. And I mean, my kids, mom, we're not together. I'm still going to be the best dad. And there's no doubt about that. Kanye is an awesome, amazing dad. No. Kanye further, Kanye West further went on to state in the discussion with Jason Lee. He said that he wants to bring his kids to the hometown of, of Chicago to see his basketball team play for 7,000 people. How is shared custody working out? Kim is preventing that. Now, Kanye is very frustrated about this based on what this, is, um, this article is saying. So Kanye wants to take the kids to the hometown, show them a little bit about their dad's roots, but Kim is in the midst of all of that. But at the same time, Kim can have North sitting on Pete's lap. Kim can have Saints going to the mall for going to the mall with Pete. <laughs> it's just crazy. This is just crazy. So in this interview with Jason Lee, you can definitely identify what has been some of the sore points for Kanye West. So we now know that Kanye West still hasn't gotten over Kim kissing Pete at SNL. We still have Kanye West hasn't gotten over Pete being allowed to go into the house that he built, the house that he created, 
the house that he designed for his family, but Pete had rights and access to that house. And this is why many people are not um, being empathetic with Kim based on the bashing and the lashing that she has gotten from Pete or Pete's camp, allegedly. We have learned that Pete said that Kim is cold, dark, and dead inside. She does not initiate in the bedroom. She has zero sex drive. So we know that Kim is like a dead person. She's only waiting to be pronounced dead because I don't know what that is. How is it that you go after a younger guy and you ought to know that as a younger guy, Pete would automatically have a high sex drive, but you still went ahead and pursue a younger guy. I guess that was her wake up call. So now she's saying that she wants a older guy. Now, um, that's basically it, guys. I'm going to include clips of the article in the video because, I mean, <laughs> this is just messy. It is real messy. And... It is back to school. We haven't seen any photos of Kanye taking the kids to school so far. It is shared custody. So we're hoping that we actually or Kanye actually got to either take the kids to school or pick them up from school. But whatever it is, I hope that Kim opens her eyes to the fact that Kanye is their dad. Pete is gone. Pete is not coming back. Pete doesn't want her because she's haunted i mean listen many fans are now even worried about kim because she appears to be so tiny so thin so skinny and pete has spoken about her not eating as um based on reports from pete saying that kim just pushes the food around in her plate and we can see where Kim is literally disappearing in front of her eyes. I think Kim got skinny because she think that being skinny, being blonde would have helped her to tap back into the white community. And it's just is what it is. Whether you may like it or not, when I say Kim is trying to go back into the white community, it's a fact. We can see that. We don't need a microscope. We don't need a binoculars to see that she's trying to tap back into the white community. So she decided that being super skinny and a blonde would give her that access. But it seems as though everyone is over this woman. At this point, her relevance is fading quickly. She's clinging on to the kids. We're going to see her popping out with the kids any moment now and talking about her kids coming on life with the kids because when all hell fails, she knows she got some West kids as collaterals as pawn. And like hell, she's not going to resist to use those kids because it's as though she's saying, this is what I have you all for. Mommy is failing and I need you guys to lift me up. I'm going to use your shoulders to get where to what, where I want to be. That's the impression that this narcissist woman is given. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about Kanye not getting over that SNL. Um, Kanye not able to take his kids to his hometown because of this shared custody. So I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And remember... If you haven't subscribed as yet, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.